Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Today we're going to explore a fascinating topic that has touched hearts and transformed lives for over 2,000 years. The Parables of Jesus Have you ever wondered why the Son of God chose to teach using simple stories instead of long sermons? And how can these seemingly simple stories contain such profound truths about the Kingdom of Heaven? In this video, we'll unravel the mystery behind Jesus' parables and discover how they can revolutionize our understanding of faith and our relationship with God. Get ready for an exciting journey through the scriptures, where we'll see how the Master of Masters used the power of stories to reveal the secrets of the Kingdom of Heaven. But before we dive into this fascinating topic, I want you to reflect for a moment how many times have you read a parable of Jesus and felt there was something deeper hidden in his words? Something you couldn't fully comprehend? Well, today we're going to unravel these mysteries together and discover how these ancient stories can transform your spiritual life in ways you never imagined. Let's begin our journey with a fundamental passage of scripture found in Matthew chapter 13 verses 34 to 35 Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd in parables. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. So was fulfilled what was spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things hidden since the creation of the world. This verse reveals something extraordinary to us. Jesus' use of parables was not a random choice, but the fulfillment of an ancient prophecy. God, in his infinite wisdom, planned to use these simple stories to reveal profound and eternal truths. But why did Jesus choose to teach through parables? The answer to this question takes us to the heart of Christ's mission and the nature of the Kingdom of Heaven. First, parables were a way for Jesus to connect with ordinary people. Imagine the scene, crowds gathering to hear the Master, coming from all corners of society, fishermen, farmers, merchants, housewives. Jesus, in his infinite wisdom, knew he needed to speak in a way that everyone could understand. The parables, with their vivid images of seeds, sheep, lost coins, and wedding feasts, were something everyone could visualize and relate to their own lives. But there was an even deeper purpose. In Matthew chapter 13 verses 10 to 11, when the disciples asked Jesus why he spoke in parables, he replied, The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. This answer reveals a surprising truth to us. Parables had the power to both reveal and conceal at the same time. For those whose hearts were open and receptive to the truth, the parables were like keys that unlocked the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. They invited reflection, meditation, and the search for a deeper understanding. But for those whose hearts were hardened or who sought only superficial signs and wonders, the parables remained as simple stories, concealing the deeper truths they contained. This reminds us of the words of the prophet Isaiah, quoted by Jesus in Matthew chapter 13 verses 14 to 15. You will be ever hearing but never understanding. You will be ever seeing but never perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused, they hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Dear brothers and sisters, this challenges us to examine our own hearts. When we read or hear Jesus' parables, are we really seeking to understand with an open and receptive heart? Or are we just listening superficially, missing the profound truths that God wants to reveal to us? Before we continue, I'd like to make a quick request. If you're finding this content valuable and edifying, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Your support helps us continue sharing these powerful messages from God's Word with more people around the world. Now let's dive deeper into some of Jesus' most impactful parables. Let's examine some of Jesus' best-known parables and see how they reveal profound truths about the Kingdom of Heaven. Let's start with the parable of the sower, found in Matthew chapter 13 verses 1 to 23. Jesus tells the story of a farmer who goes out to sow his seeds. Some fall along the path and are eaten by birds. 
Others fall on rocky ground, sprout quickly, but soon die under the scorching sun. Some fall among thorns and are choked, but some fall on good soil and produce an abundant harvest. At first glance, it may seem like just a story about farming, but Jesus reveals that this parable contains profound truths about how God's word is received in people's hearts. The seed represents the word of God. The different types of soil represent the different states of the human heart. Some hearts are like the path, hardened and impermeable to the truth. Others are like rocky soil. They receive the word with joy at first, but don't have deep roots to sustain their faith in times of difficulty. Still others are like soil with thorns. The worries of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word. But there are those whose hearts are like good soil. They receive the word, understand it, and produce abundant fruit. This parable challenges us to examine the state of our own hearts. What kind of soil are we? Are we allowing God's word to create deep roots in our lives, or are we letting the distractions of the world choke our faith? Think about your own life for a moment. How many times have you heard God's word, got excited at first, but soon allowed the worries of daily life to stifle that initial enthusiasm? Or how many times have you let doubts, fears, or criticism from others prevent the word from creating deep roots in your heart? The parable of the sower calls us to cultivate hearts receptive to God's word. This means creating time and space in our lives to meditate on the scriptures, allowing them to challenge and transform us. It means being willing to face the rocks and thorns in our lives, those things that hinder our spiritual growth, and remove them so that we can be fertile soil for the seed of the word. Another powerful parable is that of the wheat and the tares, found in Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 30 and 36 to 43. Jesus tells the story of a farmer who plants good seed in his field, but during the night an enemy comes and plants weeds among the wheat. When the servants discover the weeds, they want to pull them up immediately. But the farmer instructs them to wait until harvest, so as not to damage the wheat. Jesus explains that this parable represents the reality of God's kingdom in this world. The field is the world, the good seed represents the children of the kingdom, and the weeds represent the children of the evil one. The enemy who plants the weeds is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age. This parable teaches us several profound truths. First, it reminds us that in this world, good and evil coexist. We should not be surprised to see evil thriving alongside good. This can be discouraging at times, but Jesus assures us that this situation is temporary. Second, it warns us against hasty judgments and drastic actions. Just as the servants wanted to pull up the weeds immediately, we often want to clean up the church or society of all those we consider bad. But Jesus teaches us to be patient and trust in God's final judgment. Think about how this truth applies to your life. How many times have you felt frustrated with the apparent injustice of the world, seeing people who seem to prosper while doing evil? Or how many times have you been tempted to judge and condemn others, assuming the role of pulling up the weeds? This parable calls us to an attitude of humility and patience. We recognize that final judgment belongs to God, not us. Our task is to continue growing in faith and obedience, trusting that God, in His perfect wisdom and timing, will separate the weeds from the wheat. Finally, this parable gives us hope. Although evil may seem to flourish now, there will be a day of harvest when God will separate the weeds from the wheat. Justice will triumph, and the children of the kingdom will shine like the sun in their Father's kingdom. This promise encourages us to persevere in our faith, even when we face difficulties or injustices. Another parable that reveals profound truths about the kingdom of heaven is the parable of the mustard seed, found in Matthew chapter 13, verses 31 to 32. Jesus compares the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed which, though it is the smallest of all seeds, grows and becomes a large tree where birds come to nest. This parable teaches us about the growth and influence of God's kingdom. Like the mustard seed, the kingdom may start small and seemingly insignificant. 
perhaps in an individual heart or a small faith community. But as it grows, its influence expands, offering shelter and blessing to many. Think about how this applies to your own faith journey. Perhaps you feel that your faith is small or fragile, but this parable encourages us not to despise humble beginnings. God's kingdom in your life may start as a small seed of faith, but as you nurture it with prayer, scripture study, and obedience, it will grow and become a powerful force in your life and in the lives of those around you. This parable also reminds us of the expansive nature of God's kingdom. Just as the mustard tree offers shelter for birds, God's kingdom is a place of refuge and blessing for all who come to it. This challenges us to be agents of this kingdom, extending love, compassion, and grace to others, inviting them to experience the shelter and peace we find in Christ. These parables show us how Jesus used simple, everyday stories to reveal profound and eternal truths about the kingdom of heaven. They challenge us to look beyond the surface, to seek deeper meaning, and to apply these truths in our lives. The Fulfillment of Prophecy Let's now return to the verse we mentioned at the beginning, Matthew chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. This text tells us that Jesus' use of parables was not just a teaching strategy, but the fulfillment of an ancient prophecy. The prophecy mentioned here comes from Psalm 78, verse 2, where the psalmist Asaph declares, I will open my mouth with a parable. I will utter hidden things, things from of old. It's amazing to think that, centuries before Jesus' birth, God had already planned that the Messiah would teach through parables. This shows us the incredible precision and consistency of God's plan throughout history. From the Old Testament to Jesus' ministry, we see a thread of divine revelation. Jesus' parables were not just isolated stories, but part of a larger divine plan to reveal the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven to humanity. Moreover, the fulfillment of this prophecy reminds us of Jesus' authority and authenticity as the promised Messiah. Every aspect of his life and ministry, including his teaching method, was in perfect harmony with the prophecies of Scripture. This leads us to an important reflection. If God was so precise in fulfilling this prophecy, we can trust that He will fulfill all His promises in our lives and in human history. The parables, therefore, are not just isolated lessons, but part of a larger narrative of redemption that God is writing in human history. Practical Application for Christians Today Now that we've explored the purpose and power of Jesus' parables, how can we apply these truths in our daily lives as Christians in the 21st century? First, the parables teach us the importance of having a heart receptive to God's Word. Like the fertile soil in the parable of the sower, we must cultivate open and receptive hearts, ready to receive God's truth and allow it to create deep roots in our lives. This means creating daily time to read and meditate on Scripture, not just superficially, but seeking to understand and apply its truths in our lives. Ask yourself, how can I cultivate a heart more receptive to God's Word? Perhaps this means establishing a regular time for Bible study, seeking guidance from mature spiritual mentors, or participating in a Bible study group where you can discuss and deepen your understanding of Scripture. Second, the parables challenge us to look beyond the surface in our spiritual walk. Just as Jesus used simple stories to convey profound truths, we should seek wisdom and deeper meaning in all areas of our lives. Every experience, every trial, every blessing can contain a valuable lesson about God's kingdom. Think about your daily life. How can you start to see your daily experiences through the lens of God's kingdom? Perhaps a difficulty at work is an opportunity to practice patience and trust in God. Or maybe a casual encounter with a stranger is a chance to show Christ's love in a practical way. Third, the parables remind us of the nature of God's kingdom in this world. As we saw in the parable of the wheat and the tares, we live in a world where good and evil coexist. This calls us to be patient, to avoid hasty judgments, and to trust in God's final judgment. 
In practice, this may mean resisting the temptation to quickly condemn others when they make mistakes. Instead, we can choose to respond with grace and mercy, recognizing that we are all a mixture of wheat and tares and that final judgment belongs to God. Fourth, the parables encourage us to be storytellers for the kingdom. Just as Jesus used simple narratives to convey profound truths, we can use our own experiences and testimonies to share the gospel in a relevant and impactful way with those around us. Think about your own faith story. How has God worked in your life? What lessons have you learned through your experiences? Sharing these stories can be a powerful way to illustrate the truths of God's kingdom to others. Finally, the parables remind us of the importance of constantly seeking a deeper understanding of Scripture. Each time we read a parable, we can discover new layers of meaning and application for our lives. This challenges us not to be content with a superficial understanding of God's Word. Instead, we should commit to ongoing and in-depth study of Scripture, always seeking new perspectives and insights. A practical way to do this is to choose one parable per week to study in depth. Read it several times, research the historical context, discuss it with other believers, and pray for the Holy Spirit to reveal its application to your life. Remember, Jesus' parables are not just ancient stories, but living truths that can transform our lives today. They invite us to see the world through God's eyes, to understand more deeply the nature of his kingdom and to live as citizens of that kingdom in our daily lives. As we apply the lessons of the parables in our lives, we begin to see real transformation. Our hearts become more receptive to God's word. Our minds open to perceive spiritual lessons in our daily experiences. Our patience and compassion grow as we understand the complexity of the world we live in. Our ability to share the gospel in a relevant and impactful way increases, and our love for God's Word and our desire to understand it more deeply intensify. Imagine the impact we could have on our world if each of us truly lived out the lessons of Jesus' parables. We would be like that mustard seed, small beginnings that grow to have an immense impact. We would be like the good soil, producing an abundant harvest for God's kingdom. Before we conclude, I'd like to extend a special invitation to you who are watching. If this video has touched your heart and you wish to delve deeper into the study of Jesus' parables, please leave a comment below sharing which parable has impacted your life the most and why. Your perspective can be a blessing to other brothers and sisters in our community. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do it now and turn on notifications. This way you won't miss any of our upcoming videos where we'll continue exploring the riches of God's Word. Dear friends, Jesus' parables are much more than simple stories. They are keys that unlock the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, revealing eternal truths in ways that touch our hearts and transform our lives. Today we explored how Jesus used these simple stories to fulfill ancient prophecies and reveal profound truths about God's kingdom. We saw how the parables of the sower, the wheat and the tares, and the mustard seed teach us powerful lessons about the nature of the kingdom and our response to God's word. We learned that the parables challenge us to cultivate hearts receptive to God's truth, to look beyond the surface in our spiritual walk, to be patient in a world where good and evil coexist, to share the gospel through our own stories, and to constantly seek a deeper understanding of scripture. May we, as followers of Christ, take these lessons seriously and apply them in our daily lives. May we be like the good soil, producing an abundant harvest for the kingdom. May we be like the mustard seed, growing in our faith and having an impact that goes far beyond what we can imagine. Remember, each parable is an invitation from Jesus to draw closer to God's heart and understand his kingdom more deeply. May we accept this invitation every day of our lives, allowing the eternal truths contained in these simple stories to shape our hearts, transform our minds, and guide our actions. If this video has been a blessing to you, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the Blessed Messages for You channel, and turn on notifications. 
That way, you won't miss any of our upcoming videos about the wonderful truths of God's Word. And don't forget to check out the next video that's appearing on the screen now. We'll continue our journey through Scripture, exploring more treasures of divine wisdom. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Until the next video, and may God bless you richly.